So hopefully you've read the method. We're being asked which colour change is N observed at the end point of this titration. Now we've been given the information we need. We've been told methyl orange is red in acid and yellow in alkali. So let's just have a think about our titration. We have got the... Um, we've pipetted the acid into here and we've put the methyl orange in here. So at the moment it's red and we're adding the sodium hydroxide from up here. And as we add it, it's going to neutralise some of the acid and it would turn yellow as it if the, it was in the alkali at the top. So we're adding this thing in and it's staying red because we haven't got rid of all the acid and we're adding the sodium hydroxide in and it's staying red. At the point where we've got rid of all the acid, the next drop of sodium hydroxide that we add will um, mean that we've now got a, a mixture of uh, salt and water and so the red will disappear and it won't go immediately yellow, it will turn orange, it will go yellow if we've got excess sodium hydroxide in there. So we're going to be looking for red to um, orange, red to orange is our B answer. So Red to yellow, the D answer, is probably the next best answer, but that would be if we'd added an excess of sodium hydroxide and we'd gone past the end point.